Hello friends, welcome to this tutorial. I am Aminullah and you are watching my channel just for your help. Uh, today topic is about driver installation. Today I have a new driver and uh, today I have a new video for this. Uh, so if you have any problem in your driver installation, so you can uh, solve this uh, with this software with this uh, driver pack solution So it is very useful for all computers uh, for all uh, Devices that you want to install its driver So I will put the link in the description so you can uh, download it from there so I have uh, it on my desktop and uh, I will extract it its size is so big, but uh, uh its size is 20 uh, gigabyte so if you want to extract it uh, one method is uh, to open it with winrar and you can extract it uh, to your uh, location and second method is uh, uh to open it with the ultra iso which is its original software for opening this iso files so you can uh, uh, mount it to a uh, new driver here i will show you that here is a uh, uh, m which is uh, for uh, ultra eso and i will uh, open it with this but if you don't uh, have ultra eso premium or uh, software then you can open it with winrar uh, and you can create a folder over here on desktop or somewhere else and just simple drag and drop this to your folder but I will not do it because I have this software installed in my computer I will just simply open it with ultra ISO and click on mount to drive M so it will uh, give me like I have open and DVD or CD so as you see here you it is mounted to uh, temporary disk so open it and uh, double click on it to open so as you see it's not opening because it is not allowed in the registry error uh, registry key so first I will go to uh, registry editor so first go to rigidit uh, here and click on yes after that go to H key current user and then go to software and then go to Microsoft and then go to uh, Windows and then go to current version and uh, then go to policies and click on explore so as you see uh, here is a disallow run so it means that your driver pack solution is disabled here as you see i again click on open but it's give me no error it will uh, it's not opening so i will delete this disallow uh, key from the registry and uh, no you will see that it will run when i double click on it so as you see it's directly run on uh, my computer so if you got this error you have to uh, delete this disallow key from uh, you can delete this low key from here and it will not so H key current user software Microsoft and then go to window current version policies and explore delete the explore key so then your driver will run so it's checking uh, of the computer configuration and then it will show us that this driver is need to install or this driver need to update uh, so here we have two option one is install all automatically second one is uh, expert mode and third one is expert mode is advanced setting so if you want to install automatically it will uh, take a lot of time and it will uh, uh, install some extra driver software so you have to select expert mode and then uh, go to driver uh, software so here by default it's uh, selected uh, some application that installed it by default so you have to uncheck this box and uh, then check that there is other software is not selected so go to uh, protection and cleanup 
and uh, uncheck this box and uh, uncheck antivirus and diag uh, diagnostic is uh, manufacture HP here you see the complete detail of your computer your operating system your motherboard temperature display multimedia uh, as you see it's my specification uh, computer CPU type uh, its model, motherboard name its system memory and its BIOS type uh, its display uh, as you see its multimedia and here you see the complete storage detail and other partition uh, its input its network adapter its uh, uh, DMI power management so you can also check the OS installation date and other uh, uh, information over here so click on driver and show all driver uh, by default it will select some drivers but the most required driver uh, so these drivers needs to be installed uh, it's uh, these driver are in uh, uh, update option so you can update it here without internet connection offline so this uh, driver toolkit so uh, not downloaded a driver pack notifier notifier uh, DirectX Microsoft Visual C++ system libraries .NET. so if you want to install all these drivers so select just check these boxes uh, and uh, just uh, simply click on install all four drivers because uh, we have selected f only four drivers so if you want to install the other update drivers so select this and then check we will uh, six driver so uh, I will uncheck this two driver because I am working on it and I will just simply select this and click on install so it will uh, take time to install but it said that this can take some time but it's want uh, it's worth it so it says that uh, it will take time but we will work it so you have to wait for it uh, for installing your drivers it first it will unpack and uh, then it will select your driver and then it will uh, install it so some driver will give you error because it's need to be restarted uh, your computer and after that it will work start working and some will directly installed on your computer uh, so this is very useful software uh, of a collection of all drivers so you can install different drivers of your computer cameras memory card and uh, sometime USB hard drive and memory card give us error cause of some driver missing uh, so you can install printer scra uh, scanner cameras and mobile phone drivers so it is very useful driver so uh, you can install all your all your drivers with this uh, driver pack solution so it says that reboot is needed to go on I will close this because I'm not reboting my computer right now so once you reboot your computer your driver will be installed successfully uh, so I will open it again and I will show you that So the app is getting ready to be installed we are checking up the computer configuration so if you have any problem in your driver installation so you can uh, update your driver from this driver pack solution it's a completely new version of 2019 and just go to expert mode and select your software driver that you want to install and update it so if this video is useful uh, for you if this video is uh, uh, helpful for you then please must subscribe my channel like it share it with your friends if you have any problem with this software then must comment me uh, I will guide you so thanks for watching this video peace